The following program has been sponsored by generous friends and partners of Fred Jordan Missions. Sometimes it takes history a long time to reveal where you get your strength. Welcome to FJM TV. I'm Joe Jordan, and I'm excited today because we get to share from God's Word with you some things that will hopefully encourage you and bring you a little bit of hope in whatever situation you're facing. I'm here with two amazing ladies, here with Gina Thompson, my wife, Chris Jordan. And again, we're just excited to be with you today to share from God's Word some insights, some truths, and hopefully something that will just bless you today. But Gina, you know, how can people get involved? We're excited for our 80 year anniversary here amazing. at Fred Jordan Mission. I mean, it is amazing. And so the need is great. And especially this time of year, the needs are even greater. So just go to fjm.org, see how you can help, how you can um, be a part of this 80 year celebration with us and look for the events that are coming up. We need those volunteers, obviously. And if it's on your heart today, do it today. Do it right now, fjm.org. Yeah, and they can see everything on fjm.org. They can also yeah. get on our social media, can't they? Oh, we've got a lot going on at social media, which is a lot of fun. So yeah, yeah find us on social. And you'll see all the great stuff that God's doing and yeah. it's because of our great partners, so. That's right. Yeah, so today we're gonna be talking about my strong tower and it comes from the verse in Proverbs 18. The name of the Lord is a strong tower. The righteous run to it and are safe. That's amazing because God is our strong tower. And here it says the Lord is our strong tower. And how great is that to know that our Lord, our Savior, Jesus is our strong tower. And here in Proverbs, it uses the word Lord as strong tower. And it's speaking about God, his entirety, his character, and the entirety of who he is. You know, he's all righteous, all holy, all perfect, all everything because God is amazing. And throughout the Bible, God is referred to as the strength, the rock, our rock, our fortress. God and his name are one in the same. And I just love that, knowing that the Bible says here, as I read it and as we study God's word, that if we know him, if we have that personal relationship with him through Jesus Christ, who was the greatest sacrifice of love that God sent to this earth to die on the cross for our sins. If we believe and re receive and we have that relationship, we can go to him and find refuge and find strength and find peace. But not only that, but in those times of storms and trials and, and the enemy is just out to get you, we can be behind that fortress and it's God protecting us, not just the, the soldier fort or the bunker that you go crawl into or some great cave, but you have God to be our fortress. And that's so amazing to me. One of the things that I wrote is that the name of the Lord, our strong tower, that place of safety that promises anyone who runs to him, that knows him, that has a right relationship with him can be protected, can be covered by him. So girls, I just wanna ask you today, like what does it mean? What does it mean to you, Gina, that God, that the Lord is your strong tower? 
Well, I always go back to the very first time God revealed himself to me in such a way that he was my stability, he was my safety, he was my protector. And that's when I was a young married girl and I was pregnant and um, I was having difficulties. And the doctor said, you literally need to be in bed, lay flat, and it's a 50-50 chance every day if you're gonna carry this baby. Mm -hmm. We've got some serious situation going on here. And I remember at that moment, that baby was relying on me and my relationship with the Lord as with me as a young girl. I always relied on my mama's prayers and my daddy's prayers and my family's prayers and going to church and relied on all that. All of a sudden here I am, this young new mother. Now I've got to stand strong for this little life and I have to be, you know, the one that has that intimate relationship with the Lord. And in that moment, of course, it was uh, Philippians 4.13 that just flowed from me. And I just opened the Word of God for myself. And each scripture that I had read my whole life of being a little girl, all of a sudden, like the light bulb went off and there was this lifeline that happened from right from, I think, God's heart to right to my heart, that it came alive, that it literally was like, then I had this relationship with the Lord for myself. And then that's where I, Oh my goodness, he was my strong tower, yeah. my rock, my fortress, my safety. Right. And so, um, yes, I've had many situations, as we both know as we get older, uh, situations that uh, we face. But from that very first moment where God revealed himself to me in such a way, I never forgot. We can't leave our viewers and our partners hanging on the story of you in bed, 50-50 <laughs> chance, yes, yes. the name of the baby. That's right, my Austin Rex Thompson. And you know, he um, he's just been a miracle from day one. Yeah. And um, I did have him early in the first, when he was first born, the doctor said, don't get attached. We don't expect him to live through the night. He's the most critical baby we have in our intensive care unit. But I had already known that God, uh, he was fearfully and wonderfully made mm -hmm. and God had his hand on Austin Rex and my situation. And I look back and just say, God, you know, during that time, like when we're in a time of crisis, like God, why, why am I going through this? And we could always look back and God has a greater plan. Yeah. God uh, brings us through, and it was for me to have my personal relationship with the Lord deepened and strengthened. That's amazing. And I just want to tell you a little personal story about that. Behind one of the cameras today, and every time we tape, Austin is there. So Austin not only was a 50-50 chance, but in God's view, it was 100% he would be here. He is here today, and he is actually part of how FGM TV gets into your home. And we're just blessed by your son. We love him. I love him. Amazing. Yes, yes. So I'm glad that when you need it, you went to God. He was your strong tower. And now Austin goes to God. It's, it's his strong tower. His children go to God, their strong tower. Because for all of us who believe in Jesus, he is our strong tower. Love. What, what does it mean to you for, for God to be your strong tower and to have that confidence and know God is there for you when you need him? So like as you were sharing one of the storms of life that you went through, you know, when I think about God as my strong tower, it means so many things, but I always envision like if you've got a hurricane, a category, I think they're called category five yeah, hurricane, right? right? right. Okay, mm -hmm. blowing through <laughs> your city and everything is just, the wind is pounding, trees are bending, things are flying. And I just envision this, this pillar in the middle of the storm that is immovable, mm. dependable, reliable. Mm -hmm. It's not going anywhere. And when you're in that storm of life, you can cling to that tower, mm -hmm. that pillar, you know? And that's who Jesus has been for me. Because mm -hmm. as you know, I mean, our lives, we've had a lot of things happen. And sometimes it feels like the ground is eroding underneath us. And it's like, I know that no matter what, Jesus is my rock. He is my pillar. He's who I can cling to. He's who I can depend on. He's reliable. He says what he means and means what he says. I can go to his word and he just, his promises are true. And so I, that's just what I envision when I think of Strong Towers, just this immovable, unshakable God who loves us and who is always there for us, who will never leave us, never forsake us, never abandon us, all that. So that was just kind of what I was thinking, especially as you were sharing about Austin. It's amazing. Yeah, and we, we have gone through a lot of things. I've gone through a lot of things in my life too. And we go through health scares. We, 
we go through relationship issues and family issues and all kinds of things, and they're hard. And sometimes they're like shifting sand. But, but what is so amazing, and I just want to encourage you, our viewers and our partners with this, is no matter what, if you call upon the name of the Lord, He's there. He's always there for you. So no matter what the storm is doing, the trials doing, the hurt, the heartache, the fret, the worry, the, the financial situations, whatever you're in, wherever you're in shifting sands and being crushed by waves and you just don't know what to do, I, I just encourage you, call upon the name of the Lord. Let Him be your strong tower and He'll always be there for you. He is faithful. We'll be right back. We represent the uh, LA County Sheriff's Vital Intervention Directional Alternative called BETA. It's an at-risk program for youth from the age of 11 to 17 and a half. Um, anything from defiance, poor grades, and we're here just to do community service as part of our project to open their eyes and seeing that they can make a difference in our community. I mean, this is a place where people can come and say, I need help. From time to time, I've seen it on TV that how they got started and what their impact was as a family here. Um, and they established themselves for a long time. I think that just opens people's eyes. And the more I can uh, bring that to the kids, hopefully they can see that as well, that there's, there's resources out there you just have to ask for help. I think just interacting with the people here, that uh, they were challenged throughout, whether it's poverty, whatever it's diversity, whether it's streets, and hopefully that it, this will enable them to just be appreciative of what they have and the opportunities and then they make full success out of that. Some are working in the kitchen, putting some meals together, some are handing out coffees, um, some are just putting bags together to give, you know, for some people that are less fortunate an opportunity to take something home. Um, I think it's an eye-opener for them, because even the ones here, they're talking to the, the people that are coming in, they're getting engaged, and from the most part, every kid's told me I love doing this. So I think it's us exploring them to this, maybe they'll do it in the future. Today, as we look all around, no matter where we are in life, more than ever, we see needs, great needs, hopeless, hurting, desperate people. And what we would typically see on the streets of Skid Row, we are now seeing in every city, every community, and in every neighborhood. Hunger is no respecter of persons. Willie Jordan says, hunger never takes a day off. For those of you during this unprecedented time of history who are doing good, then we ask that you would generously give to those who are not as fortunate. So many from all walks of life are hurting. Will you extend a hand of mercy to help them in their greatest time of need? Your most generous gift is needed. Go online to give fjm.org. Whatever the amount, great or small, your donation is greatly appreciated. conversation by connecting with us on social media. We are on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and more. Visit us at social.fjm.org. Welcome back to FJM. I'm here with Gina Thompson, my wife Chris, and I'm just, again, so excited and so blessed to be able to come to you today and share some truths from God's Word and just offer some hope and let you know that God is our strong tower. He's our refuge. He's our strength. He is everything. And as you said, He is unshakable, unmovable. He is a rock. Um, like the whole planet, he is just a rock and no one will ever move him and who he is. You know, I was thinking about it, uh, girls, and you know, when you think about Jesus being our strong tower, God being our, our rock and everything else, that doesn't mean for us as believers that we won't go through storms, trials, we won't have those 50-50 chances, what's gonna happen and those worries. It doesn't mean the enemy's not gonna try to come after us or hurt us or, or try to discourage us or any of that. It doesn't mean that we will be free from all that, but what it does mean, and I just love this from God's word and his promises, is if we're in a right relationship with God through Jesus, the troubles and trials may come, but when they do, it means that the trouble 
will not have the final say. And I just love that. I know this, that the devil is never going to have the last word. The devil is never going to have the last say in my life, in our lives, or in your life, because God already won the battle. He already won the war when he gave us Jesus. He died on the cross for our sins. He rose from the dead. He's sitting at the right hand of God the Father. One day he's going to come back for us. And if not, and we go to be with him, which we don't want to run off this earth and leave our family and all the ministry that we do. But when God calls us, we know we're going to be with Jesus instantly. And what a day that will be. But let me ask you guys this, Chris, how has God shown up in your life just to be your strong tower, your rock when you needed that? How has he shown up and you just knew it was God? Well, you know, my life verse, I've quoted all the time and it's just something that I cling to is Romans 8:28, And we know that all things work together for good to those who love God, to those who are called according to his purpose. And as you were talking earlier about the trials, the storms of life. God doesn't promise us, you know, dandelions and rainbows. It's life is hard, you know, and we face trials and we face tough times. And I just love how no matter what happens, no matter what we go through, God can take everything, the good, the bad, the things that Satan intended for evil, and he's going to work it all together for good to accomplish his purposes in our lives. And so for me, like there's been, you know, so many times where I face difficulties and challenges and it's like, Lord, what is happening? Why is this happening? Why are you allowing this? And yet God has shown his faithfulness time and time again, where he takes it all and he uses it for good in my life and through my life. And so, I can trust him because he's not going to let me down. He is my strong tower. He's somebody I can rely on and depend on that he's got my back yeah. and he loves me. And so, I mean, can't ask for more than that. Absolutely. And Gina, how's God shown up in other areas of your life or other times? And you, you just knew it was God and you didn't even have to go to him. He was just there for you as your rock and your strong tower. He was just your strength and your source of whatever you needed. You knew it was God that was taking you through it. Oh, so many times. I know that every time because when I'm faced with a storm, how can you have peace? Like even back to Austin, when I was in the hospital in the intensive care unit for 56 days there every day, every day, um, people would come and visit and then they would, I'd be there and I'd have the smile. They're like, what, how, do you, how are you having the peace? How are you having joy? Because I knew God was with us. I knew though that I, looking at the circumstance, I didn't see a little two pound little baby. I saw a big football player, strong and healthy. I saw through the eyes of Jesus yeah. that greater is he that is in you than yeah. he that is in the world and that you're gonna overcome. And so I could see with the mind of Christ almost through a situation that's when our yeah. thoughts and our words line up with God's word, then that's when, when we're going through the midst of a storm that we can have peace, we can have the joy of the Lord is our strength, you know? And I remember when the strong tower in my life passed away, it was my mother. She'd always been my strong tower. And I get a phone call one day, she laid down and took a nap and she was gone. And it was during a time where we had not really spoken. It was the longest time we'd ever gone without speaking, which wasn't like me and my mom, you know? And I thought during that time, like, I was just going to fall apart, you know, but God showed up during that time. And I remember um, asking God, you know, why did this situation happen? Like we weren't prepared for this, you know, and that's what happens many times in our lives where a situation happens we're not prepared for. We didn't ask for the sickness to come on us. We didn't ask for this person to hurt us. We didn't ask for a loved one to die. You know, but during that, when we do go to the Lord, um, He's our comfort and our strength. And to finish that story, when you asked me um, a week after my mother passed away, um, I got a letter from her in the mail. And it was saying, um, the card actually said, when you see this, remember me. Remember when a bird sings. Remember when the sun rises. It's a little bit of heaven. And it was just a little thing, but to me, it was just like, Thank you, God. Yeah, 100%. God is so faithful. Wow. Yeah. And I don't know what you're facing today, our viewers and our partners, but 
there's a lot. There's a lot that you face and we face and, and, and we're not immune from it. We're not, whether we're believers in Jesus for 30 and 40 and 50 years or one day, you face a lot. And we just want you to know that God's word and his promises are true. Jesus loves you. And if you don't know Jesus, there's a God in heaven that created you and made you in his image and his likeness. And he wants that relationship with you. And if you want God as your strong tower and you don't know him, it's easy to have him as your strength, your source, your rock, and your strong tower. All you have to do, the Bible says, is believe and receive. If you confess with your mouth and believe in your heart that, that God raised him from the dead, that Jesus died on the cross and, and you repent, which means you, you turn from your sin and your ways and, and what you want and you turn to Jesus and his plan for your life, receive him into your heart, Jesus will save you and you'll be a Christian. You'll be one of his children reunited because of that great thing, that amazing thing, that wonderful thing that God did when he sent Jesus to die on the cross for our sins. You know, we only have a few more minutes, girls, but you know, one of the things that I just love is that a strong tower is all we need when we face those times of trouble. The name of the Lord we can call upon and he's there for us. And again, the righteous, those who know him, that have that right relationship, can run to him and know that he is all powerful. He has all authority, he has mercy, he has grace, he has love, he has compassion, he has empathy for everyone. Even those on Skid Row, even those who live on the streets and sidewalks, even those who live in the penthouses, in the most expensive homes in the world. God loves us all. We know that his grace and his protection is there for us. But in just a few words, what would you say to someone today who needs God's strong tower? Like what would you say to somebody as far as how God offers his strong tower, his rock and his strength to others? What would you just say to somebody that needs that today. Come to Jesus just as you are. You don't have to clean up your act. You don't have to get your life right. He's the one that does that. Yeah. You come to him in that humble surrender and you just say, Jesus, I need you. Yeah. Help me, save me. And and he does, yeah. you it's know, amazing. and that's just, that's an amazing thing because we don't have to do it. We right. just have to surrender to him and he does the work. Come he changes, are. absolutely. Yeah. He does it. And Gina, what's your final few thoughts? Exactly. Just, he meets us right where we're at. It doesn't matter where. It doesn't matter what you've done. It doesn't matter what you're going through. There's no situation too great for him. Just call out to him yeah. and he'll meet you right where you are. Absolutely. I can't believe time's going so fast, but today, if you don't know Jesus, just say, Jesus, I'm a sinner. I need a savior. I believe you love me. You died for me. Come into my heart and he will. The other thing is, if you're a believer today and you just strayed a little bit, as I did many times in my life, and you live in that guilt and shame, and like, oh, God's gotta be irritated and mad with me. He's gotta be frustrated with me. I'm his child, but I'm not acting like it. I'm in disobedience. Let that nonsense go. It's a lie from the devil and just say, God, I am your child, you saved me. Just confess your sins. He's faithful and just to forgive you. Like he already forgave them all, but go to him and repent and just ask him to get you back on track and he will. We'll be right back. Here at Fred Jordan Missions every day, we see all, all types of people. I remember as a kid, my father Fred and my mom Willie teaching me a song about Jesus loves the little children of the world. Red and yellow, black and white, we are all precious in God's sight. I still know that song, I taught it to my children, and that's exactly what we see here at Fred Jordan Mission every day. Red and yellow, black and white. Every single person that you could think of, from children all the way to seniors, are here on the streets living in LA. And they come to our doors to be loved on, to be shared with, that Jesus loves you and Jesus saves. You know, we hand out water, we hand out drinks, we hand out snacks, we preach the gospel, we have hot meals, we do special events. But if you wanna know who comes through our doors, 
it's all of us. There's no certain person, there's no certain look, but like I said in that song, red and yellow, black and white, we're all precious in God's sight. That's who we see here every day at Fred Jordan Mission. People from all around this country that end up on these streets can come through our door and we will serve them as we declare and demonstrate the love of Jesus to those in need. Well, welcome back. You know, it's been a great time. I just love being able to talk about Jesus and all that he's done in our life and continues to. And, you know, it, it's just a journey we're all on. And you're on a journey also. Our viewers, those who are our partners, um, whatever you're doing today, maybe you just turned it on for the first time and you've never seen Fred Jordan Missions before, FJM TV. FJM has been around for 80 years, serving the poor, the needy, the hungry, the homeless, and the hopeless with the hope of Jesus. Yes, we feed and clothe and put blankets around people who are cold, socks and shoes on their feet so that they have warm feet and they're walking on the streets of Skid Row and around Los Angeles. And we just wanna care for those who really feel like they've been abandoned by society, but it's only because of partners like you. If you already partner with us, God bless you. If you don't, will you go to fjm.org today and just look at all the things that God has been using us to do for 80 years, 44 to 24, that's what it is. And so 80 year anniversary. Today, if you can give a gift, we need you because the, the needs just continue to grow and grow and grow some more and we wanna keep up with those needs. We wanna feed and care for and clothe those who are naked, hungry, and homeless. But we also wanna do what we do best too, and that is declare God's love. Let them know that there's a God in heaven that loves them, that they can be delivered by anything and God can be their strong tower. If you'd like, I send a text out every day. It's Bible 626-314-7703. Just a little verse that said, God loves you and then explains what the verse says. But if you'd like, text that to us, get on our social media. But no matter what you do, either come and, and visit and volunteer, pray for us or give today to be a part of something eternal. God bless you. Will you join us in feeding hungry children and their families by phoning today, 844-FJM-FOOD or donating online, fjm.org. That's fjm.org. Or mail your check to Fred Jordan Mission, P.O. Box 12345, Covina, California, 91722. Please, will you help? The preceding program was sponsored by generous friends and partners of Fred Jordan Missions.